John G. Lake was a faith healer and Pentecostal revivalist. From 1908 to 1913, he served as a missionary to Africa, spreading the Pentecostal faith overseas through the Apostolic Faith Mission of South Africa. In 1914, he started the Divine Healing Institute, as well as healing rooms in the pattern of John Alexander Dowie's Christian Catholic Church. Lake was heavily influenced by John Dowie, and evidence suggests that Lake was a fundamental part of Dowie's Stage Act in the United States from the early 1890s. Lake was apparently one of the men that Dowie used as witnesses for the staged healings in his meetings. After Dowie died, Charles Fox Parham attempted to seize control of Zion, and Lake joined Parham's side of the schism, along with F.F. F. Bosworth and others. Convinced that the end of days was near, the group began performing exorcisms, along with a wide range of ecstatic and sexual behaviors. The hysteria that resulted ended in several murders, some of which appeared to have been covered up by the Zion coroner. The Paramites, along with Lake, fled Zion, and it was during this time that Lake claimed to have had a series of visions which convinced him to leave his wealth and possessions behind and begin his mission in South Africa. Lake returned to the United States in 1913 and attempted to recreate Dowie's empire in Portland, Oregon. Soon after, Lake was exposed by newspapers in the United States multiple times for fraudulent and criminal activity. In 1922, Lake and his son were charged with committing securities fraud in a scheme involving his church. It was then made public that Lake had been using the church as a means for the sale of mining stocks and had been selling worthless stocks to church members. A few weeks later, Lake attempted to seize property while impersonating a police officer, and he was arrested as he left the pulpit of his church. Weeks after that, he was held on federal charges of failure to report a communicable disease. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.